but you already know that. Six years ago, I proclaimed that I was no longer a liberal and told all the reasons why, but I had no idea how much worse things were about to get. The left is no longer simply intolerant, inflexible, illogical, un-American, and misinformed. In the last six years, they have devolved into malicious, corrupt, perverse, sadistic, ruthless, oppressive, and borderline authoritarian behavior and rhetoric. Liberalism has been devoured by leftism, and leftism is just hatred and destruction marketed as virtue. For years now, we have watched as the left has embarked on an intentional and methodical endeavor to radically upend American life. They've pushed for every policy objective that would increase crime and disunity while destroying our economic system, our justice and morality, our right to defend our border, uh, this is right. and our right to I'm defend sure ourselves. Right. Today, the ultimate goal Good. of the Democrats is more power, bounce, more control. In an effort to destabilize and divide our society, the left has waged a war on reality, chipping away at our common perception of what is true and what is false. They'll accuse you of doing everything that they do and being I everything that they know. are. Although They'll say I'm that you're in a cult the while they bow down in unison and worship their false idols. They'll say that you're violent the while they burn America to the ground. That you're lawless while they defund the police and release dangerous repeat offenders into society. They'll say that you're the Nazi while they lead anti-Semitic tirades from coast to coast. That you're the fascist while they weaponize the federal government against their political opponents. Okay. That you are un-American while they burn our flag, kneel for our anthem, and rip our constitution to shreds. They've created a blatantly hypocritical and overtly dishonest moral structure, feigning outrage over the sins of their opponents while flagrantly ignoring, excusing, and enabling the hateful and dangerous behaviors of their own side. They'll criminalize your right to defend yourself while making martyrs, out of attackers. They'll provide sanctuary for illegal migrants, but surveil American citizens they fear are too patriotic. And in the left's abusive false reality, you are the dangerous threat to democracy, as they employ every trick and scheme to remove their political opponents off the ballot. You are a racist, and if you don't acknowledge your racism and inherent bigotry, that's proof that what they say about you is true. In the left's reality, there's no such thing as gender, Yet gender identity yeah. is the most important thing in the world. This is the most secure election in history. Well, this is a much. woman. Bye -bye. And this is a mostly peaceful protest. But this is an insurrection. To capitalize on the left's deceitful false reality, the Democrats have ushered in a whole new era of racism, sexism, and discrimination, deceptively presenting these new ideas as diversity, equity, and inclusion. The party that dishonestly takes credit for the advancement of civil rights now openly advocates for prejudice, segregation, and denial of opportunities based on skin color and gender, making skill, merit, and safety secondary, prioritizing diversity quotas, over capability. And the Democrats have a powerful ally in their war on reality, the mainstream media, an institution that could once be trusted to hold power accountable. The media is now overwhelmingly leftist and overwhelmingly pro-government, running nonstop interference to protect the establishment. That's why so many people believe every lie, every hoax, every false narrative, every piece of fiction the establishment supporting media creates and echoes, because the left knows if they repeat a lie often enough, it becomes the truth. The Democrats have decided they have full ownership over minorities in this country, telling them they are the victims of a culture of systemic oppression. If you are black, brown, LGBT, an immigrant, or a woman, the Democrats and the media are exploiting you, creating story after story and hoax after hoax to make you think that the other side of the aisle hates you, that you have no hope, no future, and no safety unless they are in power. They lie about hate crimes and skew data to make you think that bigotry against you is on the rise. They want you to believe that your rights are in danger and that every problem in your life is caused by somebody else. They'll tell you they're the only people who care about you in your freedom of choice and opportunity. And then, in the ultimate act of gaslighting, they'll punish any of you who exercise your free will to leave them. They'll call you a self-loathing traitor and tell you you hate yourself if you don't stand in solidarity with their illogical causes and beliefs. They'll ostracize you from your community, cyberbully you, and try to make it impossible for you to exist. This is your punishment for being a minority and daring to disobey them 
by thinking for yourself. It's critical to Democrats that minorities remain forever segregated and afraid. Their goal is to make sure that you never know intellectual and spiritual freedom. Divided they stand. Remember, these are the same people who brought authoritarianism to America under the guise of protecting people from a pandemic. They led the charge to lock you in, mask you, and destroy your business just because they could. They exploited a virus to manipulate an election. They arrested citizens for daring to open their stores and go to work. They jailed people for going to church. They turned a drug-addicted career criminal into a civil rights hero and gave him a funeral fit for a king, while our grandparents were forced to die alone. They mandated you take an experimental vaccine they knew was not proven safe nor effective. And suddenly, when a pandemic gave them the opportunity, the party that once championed free speech and expression became the party of censorship and suppression. They ban and restrict any speech or opinion that challenges the establishment narrative. They'll label anybody who questions them as spreaders of disinformation to discredit them. They even created a governance board to track and punish thought criminals. Comply or be canceled. There's no line the Democrats won't cross anymore in their craven quest for power. If they can't earn it, they'll steal it. If they can't steal it, they'll break it. If they can't break it, they'll silence it. And if they can't silence it, they'll make it disappear. This isn't a political party. It's a crime syndicate, and nobody holds them accountable. The Democrats have created a two-tier system of justice, weaponizing three-letter agencies against their political opponents, spying on them, raiding them, jailing them, and putting them on lists, while they live without any fear of consequences for their own corrupt behavior. If they want you out of the way, they'll search high and low to find a crime to accuse you of. And if they can't find one, they'll make one up. They'll force you to confess to things you didn't do because they have the power to do it. They'll destroy your name and reputation with the help of their media who report anything the government tells them to. They'll imperson you by banning you from banks, payment platforms, email services, social media, and air travel, just like communists do. They'll try to destroy every aspect of your life based on the lies they created, then celebrate the devastation they've caused. I should know. They did it to me. They'll convince your friends and family it's their patriotic duty to turn you into the FBI to have you investigated and punished. They'll label you a domestic terrorist to dehumanize you so that no one objects when they imprison you, bankrupt you, and bury you. They'll come after everyone around you one by one and nobody will stop them because everyone's too afraid. And then it's your turn. And there's no one left to speak for you. So stand up, tell every truth, blow every whistle, sound every alarm, never shut up, never back down. Speak out now while you still can. This is our last chance to save America. Because once your freedom is gone, it's gone. And you'll never get it back. Once upon a time, I was a liberal. But liberalism is destroying us. So I will stand and fight for my values of unity, equal opportunity, personal empowerment, compassion, freedom, and love. So I continue to walk away. And I encourage all of you to do the same. Join us. Unite. Share your stories. Walk away. 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 They even show something about uh, that, that there's going to be an EC up there that's not there yet. So it shows.